you look at the notes I'm playing, you're hearing something differently than the notes that I'm playing. Because I have tuned my harp to the harmonic minor scale. Oh, let's go to pentatonic major. Now I have. Oh, let's try a different scale. Let's go to like Locrian. I I could change to all these scales in real time in the middle of a single piece of music if I needed to with Unify. Here's a C major chord in Locrian. If I go back to something like pentatonic major and play major. C again. See what it's doing? It's changing the notes. So I can make my harp play the appropriate parts. <laughs> Hello, my name is John Skippy Limkul. I am thrilled to show you a new library I am releasing called Mega Magic Harp. This is a library of a harp that I sampled uh, during Christmas. My mom inherited this incredible harp, 40 string with all the pedals concert harp and I recorded it during my Christmas with my family. My daughter came with me and uh, we recorded this incredible harp with my iPhone. <laughs> and I was actually planning to go back and record it with better microphones and everything. But A, these recordings were incredible from my iPhone and B, there was winter storms coming and I didn't have time to record it before the storms hit. So I decided to head for home. So. This library is rather special in that the underlying samples, these are recorded on my iPhone. There's an app called You Record that allows you to record up to 96 kilohertz, 24 bit uncompressed audio. And I recorded for 32 minutes and 14 seconds at 11 o'clock at night, harp. <laughs> so these recordings were originally done on this phone right here. I then transferred them over to the computer, chopped them up, mapped them across the keyboard. I used uh, Isotope's Incredible RX-9. the harp and then I have a number of treatments there's 17 patches in the middle of this library that kind of take you through all of the different sound available in this library there's since it's called mega magic harp that is my reverb process of using multiple reverbs to beautiful ambience and it's in the samples. In fact, it's actually a separate layer of samples. So you can play reverb on your keyboard. And you can layer this with a harp or with any other sound. And this is not the best harp in the world. There's incredible harp libraries this is a $59 library retail, so it's not competing with $200 libraries. If you own those libraries, for example, if we go over here, let's go to contact. I've bought a number of those harp libraries. Uh, we could go over here to the harp patches, call it the grand harp. And use that harp in all of the examples I'm going to be showing you where there's arpeggiators, where I'm using the scales and so forth. If I wanted to, I could be using, and a lot of these harps, I tell you, I'm sorry, but 
I would never put that sample into a library, but here it is in Grand Harp. Um, the Harp Normal. This is from Spitfire, I believe. You have to play really soft where you get these really tangy sounds. And you have to hold in the sustained pain a little if you want. Another harp. This is in the actual contact library. They're all really hard to play. I was really surprised how hard they are to play. I mean, I don't have the really hard tangy sounds, but you never want those. You're playing glisses and so forth. You want. So maybe you don't have to spend $200. You can if you want. Um, on top of that, Mega Magic 2 is with octave shifting reverb. And you have real-time controls here. Balance. Filtering, you want the, the reverb to be really bright. Or you can filter to be nice and moody. All right, stuff like that. Uh, sprinkles are granular. So what I did is I took the dry samples of the harp. I fed them through really huge reverb for the Mega Magic Library for those sounds. For sprinkles, I used uh, granular plugins to take the samples and do something different with them. In fact, if you go down here to just the sprinkles by themselves, it's this really cool, unusual sound built from harp. And there's two versions. That's more. It's got a chorusy thing. This is a little bit more straight and pure. But if you layer these with the harp plus sprinkles, like let's go to two with the harp. And the B samples, those uh, these variations have loops, so. That So you have the Mega Magics, you have granular sprinkles, you even have the sprinkles pad, which is taking the sprinkles and then looping right where it's really big and huge. That's from harp, but heavily processed. And then up here you'll see Berlin Studio Harp. Here's what we can go like this, dry. That's how it sounded in my mom's house next to the Yamaha piano. And then what I did, I was so fortunate. The timing of everything is, you know, it's funny how this all works out. Studio Berlin, there's a company called Sample City, Samplicity. I'm not sure exactly how to do it. I think Samplicity would be how you'd say it. Um, a friend of mine started this company, and his first product is this wonderful reverb called Berlin Studio. And it's multiple convolution reverbs kind of recreating all of the different microphones that you'd be using when you're recording an orchestra. And then you can actually click over here and place the sound into where you want in Teldex Studio in Berlin. I mean, it's incredible sound. And I talked to him and got his permission to record the dry harp through this reverb and include it in the library. So you have both the dry version, and then right next to it is and you, 
you can again use this knob right here. A little more dry or more reverb. Right? So there's all these treatments for the sound. So you have dry Berlin Studio, two different Mega Magics, two different granular sprinkle things. And then we get into all the crazy fun stuff Unify gives us the ability to do. We have a really cool MIDI box, which can play phrases and so forth. So if you come up here to the top, there's all these phrases I recorded. Just play one note. Sweetheart. You can use this knob number eight to actually change between all the different patterns. Every one of these, you can do this to. So actually all of these phrases are able to be changed in real time. And you can actually do that to make new patterns if you want. Some are minor. And it says up here in the corner right here. Right? So on top of the phrases, there's 21 of those. Then there's some around 70 different arpeggiator patterns. There's one shots, which are distinguished with a one S. There's downs. Three octaves. Means you can play across the keyboard. Speed. I'd say the two octave is better for if you want to do like little melody lines. Also, unlike most libraries, when you get to these, this is MIDI data. So we can manipulate. The velocity and the speed. To do all sorts of unique things like that. Um, then they get to the loops, which say LP. There's inversions. And again, right here. So if you go to the loop, the inversions. You can change just like this to where you're holding on a note. And then sequence that into your da and off you go. There's also up and downs. We have the phrases, we have all the arpeggiators. At the end are special effects. As you can see, these are all set up inside of the different modes. Dorian or Locrian. Minor. And this is using Blue Arp, which has a scale mode. If you set it to through and you tell it what key you're in, we're, we're tuned to the harp is tuned to C, for example then all of these different chord offsets are available. And what these do is if we, if we bypass MIDI box, then we can A's and B's are A's. So now when you gliss, it sounds like a real harp because the notes have been on a harp. You have pedals that you can shift each note to be up or down in pitch by a semitone. So number 17 of the patches in the heart of the library right here is a Gliss Master. And this allows you to change what scale it is. And then you just play on the keyboard if we're in pentatonic major and you just made a Gliss. You wanna do a waterfall Gliss of your own? that easy. And again, like I said, if I want to, let's go over here to mode art. I have the harp, which is really nice for piano tech. So if we go to mode art, piano tech, and you choose the harp presets, it sounds great. So if we go to piano tech, 
click and go to the concert heart uh lip recording <laughs> So I'm playing that harp. I can change what scale I want. It's interesting. The samples don't always gliss as nicely as they should. That's what's nice with this library is that the sound. That's the sound of the library inside of Mega Magic Harp. It's a beautiful harp for glisses. Awesome. <laughs> it's so natural. So. So there you go. It's a really cool library. I don't need to go through every single patch. Make sure you check out some of these, the BPM splits and stuff where you can play one note. And Processed in cool ways. Uh, there's things like granular glue where I'm using um, playing falter once again on the harp. So there's all sorts of creative fun stuff. House of Clouds is really cool. pluck sound. This is the harp. Because we have the ability to shift. Let's see, I have to go over to unify. That's inside a Guru sampler. We have a really cool parameter called shift, which you can take the harp samples and shift them so it's using different samples. Like it's playing the two octave down samples, but transposing them up. And it's really moved this, this is actually the top samples being transposed down. Go the other way where it's bottom samples shifted up two octaves. And then I'm just using a CC writer to dance up and down on that change tonality so we can do stuff like that uh, there's guitar from harp um, <laughs> all sorts of fun things uh, keyboard sounds Only need Unify to play everything you're hearing, except for when I was calling up um, Contact or Piano Tech or something like that. Even some really, really cool. And there would be a special bonus library added to this on Valentine's Day. Um, but the sale for this only lasts until the 12th of February. So you have between now and the 12th to get it at its introductory price. And then after that, it's just. $59 for whole thing. So I hope you enjoy it. It is really, really fun to take this harp and find all sorts of really cool places to take it. Harp plus so much more, so much more. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video, okay?